World leaders have paid tribute to Germany's former Chancellor Helmut Kohl during a ceremony inside the European Parliament in Strasbourg. A giant of post-war German politics, Kohl, who died last month, oversaw German reunification. He was also a major force behind European integration. Recalling the moment talks began to bring several Eastern European countries into the EU, European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker said, during lunch, Kohl asked for permission to speak. Exceptionally, he asked for permission to speak because he usually took to the floor. He asked and said, obviously moved with tears, preventing him from speaking, that this very day of the start of the accession talks was one of the most wonderful moments in his life. To live through this historic moment of the coming together of Europe as German Federal Chancellor profoundly moved him in his heart. One of the most moving eulogies was given by former U.S. President Bill Clinton, who said Cole was dedicated to creating a world in which no one dominated. Deployment of German so sleep well, my friends. The greatest gift you left us is the lessons that the thing that matters most in life is what we leave our children the freedom, the peace, the security, to build their own prosperity, to chase their own dreams, and to believe that they can be very big while lifting up, not tearing down. You did a good job with your life. And those of us who shared it, loved you for it. Thank you. A former minister in Kohl's government, current German Chancellor Angela Merkel, also paid tribute to her mentor, insisting that it was up to today's generation to guard his legacy. Many of the things that we take for granted can be traced back to him. The unification of Eastern and Western Europe, the single market, the removal of border controls between the member countries of the EU, and that most of these countries have a single currency, the fact that the European Union in her present form exists at all. All these things are and will continue to be linked with his name materially. The tribute in the European Parliament is the first of its kind to a political leader. Inside the assembly, Strasbourg's orchestra played both the German national anthem and Beethoven's Ode to Joy, the European Union's anthem.